Kia ora from New Zealand everyone. I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today we're doing another puzzle along series. This is the jigsaw puzzle you all voted on. It's Dream Library from Ravensburger. 500 pieces but the larger size pieces and we will be doing the build as you sort technique for this puzzle along. If you want to grab yourself a copy of the jigsaw puzzle, I did add it to my Amazon storefront, the .com. I couldn't find it though for the .co.uk Amazon storefront, so I added in the needlework station instead. I do think you could still follow along and do the process with that jigsaw puzzle. In fact, I think it actually might be easier than this one to do. Full disclosure, if you do buy any of the puzzles from my Amazon storefronts, the price is the same for you, but I do get a commission that comes back to me and goes back to the channel to buy more puzzles and equipment to make these videos. So thank you so much for that extra support. Now I realize there's no right way or wrong way to do a jigsaw puzzle, but for this video, I am specifically doing step-by-step -step what I call the build as you sort. And I wanna explain that technique in case you wanna follow along and try it for yourself. Now you may enjoy it, you may not enjoy it, and that's totally fine. And you may just wanna get the puzzle and do it your own way, and that's fine as well. I just love the idea that a whole bunch of us all around the world are doing the same jigsaw puzzle. But I will be trying as best as possible to explain what I feel the build as you sort technique is. And it does work better on a busier image, and so I think it should go quite well for this image hopefully, and I do hope some of you will try, at least give it a little bit of a go, and then leave me feedback and let me know how you did. I realize this video could end up being quite long, and I will probably end up talking quite a bit throughout, so without further delay and for the love of puzzles, let's just jump right in with this puzzle along, build as you sort. So the first thing I want you to do is actually spend two, three, four minutes and really look at your image. Look at the picture. This is the sort of technique where you need to know what you're building. The box top, the image will be your friend throughout. You will refer to it a lot. So for example, this image, we know it's of a library, but like how many lamps do you see? You know, try to find all the various lamps. And looking at this earlier, I thought there were only three lamps, and then I saw there was like this, are they referred to banker's lamps, the one with the green um, shade right there? Hadn't noticed that before. How many different plants do you see? There's this big, colorful, flowery plant right here, but then look, there's this darker one over here, and then there's one over on the mantle. And I could be missing some, there could be more. Obviously, tons of books, books, piles of books, more books, books in the little basket there. So many books. So we do realize there's going to be lots of books, but what about the two different windows? Window up here with the yellow and orange shading, but look at this bright white one. That one will stand out. And that drew my eye over here. First of all, I see the bust on the pillar. But I can't make out what's over here in this part of the library. I'll have to wait and see if I can figure that out once I find the pieces. But notice, you know, there's some bright yellowy colors here in the fireplace and with the lamps and the window. And even this is kind of brighter down here on the table. And oh, look at that. There's a map there and a, and a magnifying glass. And, you know, oh, look at the clock. And there's some dark wooden areas. There's this repeated pattern of the railing, the green railing here. And that brings you up to the top. Oh, there's some paintings. And is that some sort of vase maybe? And another painting and this brighter painting over here. So take the time to learn like, oh, there's cushions on the couch and the different armchairs and more cushions over here. And you see the globe and the step ladder and the throw blanket there and another blanket there. There's so much to discover in this image. So take the time and have a look at the image. Enjoy it. Because to me, it almost feels like this becomes a scavenger hunt. Because we're gonna take one piece at a time and try to figure out exactly where it goes on our image. The first thing I'm gonna recommend that you do is outline your puzzling area, just using like painter's tape. Now this jigsaw puzzle, because of the large pieces, ends up being nearly the size of a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. 
70 centimeters by 50 centimeters. And if I've done this correctly, I have a corner piece here. This corner piece should fit right there. And then the jigsaw puzzle should cover pretty much all the purple. And in inches, I believe that's 27 inches by 20 inches. It's nice when they give the dimensions on the side of the box, because that way you can outline your puzzling area. The reason why I'm gonna suggest you do that is just as when you do a build as you sort, it's very easy to spread things out and lose the concept of how big the jigsaw puzzle is. And this one is the larger size pieces. Um, many of us are quite familiar with like the 500 piece jigsaw puzzle, especially those of us that speed puzzle. But I thought this would help us to contain our puzzling area, especially when it comes to recognizing when sections connect together. So we don't just overflow so much and it becomes more and more overwhelming to try to bring the jigsaw puzzle together. So the first thing I recommend you doing is outlining your puzzling area to the size of the jigsaw puzzle. So we are going to go through the first cycle. I would like, if you can, to try to do five cycles with me. Each cycle involves about 20 pieces of the jigsaw puzzle. So five cycles, we would have gone through about 100 pieces. And if at that point you're really not enjoying it or you're struggling, if you want to stop, fine. Um, but at least you gave it a good try and you tried it. I will also say that I bought this jigsaw puzzle secondhand and they had sorted out all the border pieces separately. I kept them separate just for demonstration purposes. Now, if you're the type of person that really, really needs the border, that you just cannot function without the border being done first, if you really want to go through and separate out the border pieces and build the border, do so. If you can wait though, and give it a try without having the full border first, that would be great too. And maybe perhaps try those first five cycles with me. And if when we get to that point, you're like, oh, I need the border, then maybe then go and separate the border pieces out. But remember, I, I, I really appreciate if you give it a try, but I also want you to have fun and don't get frustrated. So if at any point you're feeling so frustrated, you, you wanna give up, then just puzzle it the way you would. So what's a cycle? Basically, you try to place 20 pieces. We're going to make it easy. 20 pieces. That's the first step. I have pre-selected pieces. They're off camera just to kind of make my point about things. So here's our image. I'm always going to keep the image near me. So let's imagine in the box, here's my box of pieces. And let's just pretend that I'm going to be pulling out these pieces from the box. Now, I will admit, sometimes I'll shuffle the pieces and I'll see if anything stands out to me, maybe bright or colorful. I grab that piece and try to place it. Um, but I'm not going through the box hunting for pieces. That's not the build as you sort. You literally just kind of grab a piece and as you go and you try to place it, okay? So this is what I did though for demonstration purposes. I did grab out 20 various pieces, but just imagine I'm grabbing them randomly from the box. I might, you know, flip the pieces over and see if something's bright and colorful and might stand out. But besides that, I tend to be very random with what I grab from the box. So let's say the first piece I grab from the box, I'll move that over there, is this bright piece right here. And I look on oh, this one. Well, that's, that's an easier piece. It looks like it's this window part right here. So I am literally going to try to place it where I think it would proximately go within my puzzling area. I could be off. I mean, I know it's not gonna be up there. I know it's not down here. You just have to be approximate. Eventually the puzzle will come together and the image will form. So just try to be as close as you can somewhere about there. So let's imagine that's my first piece and I was able to place it. Now imagine the next piece I grab out is this piece right here. You can see it's dark. It's part of this green railing. Well, this is probably a piece that I'm going to go, ooh, that could go anywhere. This would be a piece that I decide, you know what, I need to sort these pieces. I need to have a lot more of these pieces available before I can actually build them. This is where sky, water, maybe repeat patterns like this railing. So if I can't place it, 
I'm going to sort it. So I'll just decide somewhere around outside my puzzle area that I will put that piece and I say, okay, I'm going to sort out all those green railing pieces and I'll put them over there. So the next piece, let's say I grab this border piece right here. Oh, border piece. It looks like a book. Now remember, there's no rush. Take your time with each piece. Try to figure out exactly where it goes. Oh, it's somewhere down here. It's part of this book. Oh, okay, okay. So maybe perhaps it goes about there, somewhere close to the middle. I'm not too sure, but I'll place it there. So that border piece was somewhat easy to figure out where it went, but what if I grabbed this border piece? And it looks like it's this green with the bright yellow on the frame, but it could go kind of almost somewhere along here. I'm not exactly sure where, so I'm not going to sort it, but I'm just going to put it to the side for now. I just would like to find a few more pieces to figure out where it goes, so I'll just put it to the side close to where it belongs. The next piece I grab, let's say I grab this piece right here. It's bright yellow, a little blue. It looks like it belongs to this chair right here. But I'm having trouble determining like the orientation. Is it the bottom of the cushion, the top? Oh, I know it kind of goes around there. Maybe I'm just going to also put that one just outside the puzzling area where I think it goes until I get more pieces. I'm just not too sure yet. Now imagine I grab this piece right here. It's part of the window, dark orange books. Oh, look at that. I bet you it goes right up there somewhere. And, you know, having a good look. Is it there? Is it? It's close. It's somewhere there. I'm not sure if it connects up to there, or if it's a bit lower, but it's pretty close. I'll, I'm thinking mm, it's close enough that I'm going to put it about there, but I may have to adjust it. Well, look, I found another window piece. But then was, this one's a bright yellow piece. Um, it looks more that it's further down, could be slower. I'm not sure how many pieces across. It, it's close. It's somewhere close. So it may not be perfect, but it's close and I feel, let's put it about there. Now let's grab this piece here. And let's imagine that I take two, three minutes and I'm looking around and I really don't know where this piece goes. I'm looking, I'm studying, I'm looking at the box. Take your time though. But I'd say maybe after a minute, if you can't figure it out, this is going to go in your unknown pile. Okay, so you will have an unknown pile. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to throw another piece in our unknown pile for later. I grab this piece right here. Looks like a book. Oh, maybe it's part of this book right here. Well, I already have part of the border. Ah, uh, maybe it goes somewhere around there. Let's just say I place it about here for now. Well, here's another piece. And this one, ah, oh, it's part of the flower. Now this is the thing. You can quickly recognize that this is part of the leaves and the flowers. It goes somewhere in this bushel of flowers, but I don't want you to just go, oh yeah, there, boom. I want you to take the time and figure out if you can determine the orientation. Does it go like this, like this, like this? Remember, each piece has four different ways it can go. So take that time. Take that minute to look at it, to study the textures, to study the leaves, and determine if whether or not you can really figure out which way it goes. And I do believe it goes this way, looking at this image. And, you know, does it go about here maybe? So take your time. Just because a piece jumps out at you and you're able to figure out where it goes, make, take the extra minute, you know, or seconds, 30 seconds, to figure out the orientation, especially if it is something a bit trickier. For example, you know, these um, railings could go this way or that way. And that, you know, I think in the end it goes this way because that looks like the prong has books on it. But just take that extra time to see if you can figure out the orientation of the piece. Because if you figure it out when you put it down, it'll help you later on. Now here's another border piece. And this one looks like it's at the top here. I don't know what you would call these little designs on the ceiling. 
I'm not sure what they're referring to, but this is very much a repeat pattern. It's very much a repeat pattern. This could go, you know, in multiple places up there, and I really don't know. Is it this one right here? Is it this one there? There's three potential places this could go. So I'm just going to put it outside of that top area. It's kind of like I'm sorting it. I know it'll go up there somewhere, but I don't want to place it here in case it goes over there. So I'm going to wait till I have more pieces. Now here's the next piece I pick up. Nice and bright. Oh, look, that's part of the window. Well, I already have part of the window. And looking at it, I think it goes like that. Now, it makes sense that it would go somewhere underneath it, probably about there. I'm not going to put it there. I'm not going to put it there. I'm not going to put it like that. Put it where you think it approximately goes. So I think neatly tried in line. Now I realize the whole thing may have to be shifted, but at least we'll shift them together. I typically keep the box on my lap. I'm moving it in and out of scene so you can see. Now imagine I grab another border piece. Again, this is green with that bright yellow from the frame, but it's darker. It's darker and so I think it goes more towards the top. So somewhere along there, I'm not exactly sure. I'll put it over there with that one until we have more pieces. Again, another railing piece with some brown. That could go anywhere along the railing. I'll put that in my sort railing pile. Most likely those pieces I will deal with at the end, or at least until I have a lot more. And then look at this. Now, it's not that it's an unknown piece. It's a dark brown piece. And I know the dark brown, there's lots of areas where dark brown could go. So instead of just throwing this in my unknown pile, I think I'm going to make a pile of dark brown pieces. And those will again probably appear at the end, the last ones to put in. So I'll put them over there as well, dark brown pieces. Now I found another border piece. Oh again, the green with bright. Oh, it probably goes over here somewhere. I'm going to try to see if I can connect them. Oh, look at that. Ah, it connects. Well, now I feel a little bit more confident putting this kind of here. It might go up there. It might go a bit down, but I feel a bit better actually moving that into place. I know it doesn't go all the way down here, for example. So I'm going to put it approximately there, realizing it could go a little higher, probably not much lower, but at least I have three connected and I feel more comfortable moving them from off to the puzzling area onto the puzzling area. And here's a piece with lots of books. Now, the books may well end up being some pieces that we will have to sort out and wait till the end. I'm going to take a bit of time though, because remember, there's no rush. So let's take our time and see if I can figure out which <laughs> part of the puzzle these books go. And luckily, when I pulled this piece out, I recognized it. It goes next to the globe and the ladder. It's this set kind of encyclopedias right there. So take your time with the book pieces. See if you can figure out where they go. If not, I will probably pile up the book pieces there until the end as well. I'm thinking the railing, some of the books, some of the darker pieces will have to wait. But I did figure out where this piece went. And so I'm going to say it's, a, it's underneath the, the window, maybe approximately there. You see how the puzzle is coming together? But we are puzzling all over the place. The next piece, oh, look at that. That looks definitely much more like the cushion. And the yellow, ah, it's close to the book, per perhaps about there. Now look, what is this? Some green, some white. Well, the whitish parts are over here. Ah, look, it's by that armchair. Now it's kind of underneath the window. So I'm thinking I got, I think these three line up and I'm missing obviously some pieces to connect but I think they're all approximately in the same area. And the last piece we're gonna go through for this round here is this one. Well, it's again the yellow and some pink and some blue. Does it connect? It doesn't really connect yet. Oh, I think I'm gonna put this with my other yellow from that chair right here. I'm not sure exactly how these all fit together yet. I think I need a few more pieces from that chair. So there you go. We did the first part. This is 20 pieces. We've played with 20 pieces. We either 
placed them where we think they glow. We either sorted them into piles because we need a lot more pieces to be able to place them. We put them nearby where they go like this yellow, I keep wanting to say fauteuil because that's the word in French, this yellow armchair. We kind of put them nearby and, and we put this um, border piece nearby. Eventually we had these nearby, but eventually we moved them in. And then we also put some in an unknown pile. So you place, you sort, you put nearby, or you put in the unknown pile. Now the next steps in the phase, I'm going to manipulate what I've done here just to make my point come across. Let's imagine that ended up like that. So the first thing I want you to do now, after you've placed 20 pieces, tidy your puzzling area. Look around, okay, look around. Are pieces in directions that you know they cannot go? You've knocked them maybe while you've puzzled or you've put them in sloppily. Tidy your area, tidy your area up. Did you pile pieces in your puzzling area and you really didn't know where they went? Take them out and put them into a sorted pile. And then, and this is key because the more pieces you get, you're gonna realize this will happen. Are there any pieces actually in your puzzling area that already connect to one another and you just don't realize it? Like I can see that these don't connect yet, but this piece down here with the border and the book, do they actually connect? Well, look at that, they actually connected. And so, for example, if I would have been able to find more window pieces, you may have realized that you might have had more pieces and eventually you gotta to try to connect them you won't extend past your working area. So if you end up running out of room, it's because perhaps you have pieces that connect and you just don't have them connected yet. Next, go to your unknown pile. Go, okay, let me, let me look at these pieces. Take another minute or so. I still don't know where this guy goes. Okay, leave it in your unknown pile. Oh, look at this. This is that pink cushion down on that yellow chair down there. Okay, down there, it goes down here somewhere. Look at that, it connects right there, okay. I managed to figure out where a piece from my unknown pile goes. Well, does it help me figure out where these pieces go? Well, looking at the picture a bit better, I actually think this piece goes there to finish that corner of the cushion. And, and you know what? Does that go, no, oh look at that, that goes there. So go through your unknown pile and you might be able to then move some of your pieces that you've put to the side. You might be able to move them into place. So tidy your area. Make sure you don't have any pieces that are askew. See if anything connects. If you had them separated but they were close, see if anything connects. Go through your unknown pile. See if you can place them anywhere. And then go through your sorted piles and see if there's anything you can move into your puzzling area. So I was able to move in those pieces from the yellow armchair. This sorted pile here with the green railing, nah, I do think that I'll have to wait. And this dark brown piece could go anywhere, so we'll leave that there. And that's one cycle. Place 20 pieces and then refine. Place and refine. There's a few steps. Obviously when you place, you can either place the piece sort the piece, put the piece nearby, or put it in the unknown pile, tidy your area, connect things if they can join together, go through your unknown pile, and then go through your sorted pieces to see if you can move anything into the puzzling area. And you just rinse and repeat. So I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna take my box now, I don't have any more pieces pulled out. This is just my box with all the pieces. And in fact, I'm now going to put back in all the rest of the border pieces that had been separated for me. And I'm gonna mix them all in. And I'm going to simply pull out one piece at a time. And I'll walk you through it again. And then eventually I will speed up the footage. But that's a cycle. And I know a lot of people go, oh my goodness, what is happening here? Trust me, it's a slow process to start, but the image will come together. And the more pieces you pull out, the more it'll come together. And I do like having 
the outline present so that prevents you from just spreading and spreading and making the, the puzzle look way bigger than what it is. So let's do another cycle and go through another 20 pieces. So here's my box and I will be maybe a little selective. I'm going to look at the pieces and I'm going to pull out pieces that maybe stand out that are a bit brighter just because this is an image with a lot of dark areas. So if we can build the easier sections first, why not? Always keep your image nearby though because you will refer to it a lot. I'll put it off to the side here. So let's grab this first piece I see here. Just grabbed it out. Part of the window. I'm hoping actually that this might connect up here. Yep. Connects right there. Oh nice. That was easy. That's one. How about this guy right here? A border piece. A border piece. Looking at it, I think it's down by this book right here. So it's close to this book somewhere along there along the border. I'll place it there. I feel confident in that. How about this border piece? Ah, so this border piece, I believe, is part of this area right here with the fireplace, but it's a bit brighter. It could be somewhere around here-ish. I'm just going to put it to the side for now. I know it goes along there, but not exactly sure where yet, so I'll just leave it at there. Another piece that stands out to me. Oh, that's interesting. Bright yellow. There's only so many bright yellow places. And this looks like it's this bright yellow lamp with the wood paneling next to it. Yeah, I'm confident. It's near the globe. Now, remember, these books were near the globe. So this could go somewhere about there, approximately. Again, I haven't shuffled my pieces. I'm just grabbing, grabbing pieces as we go. How many did we do? One, two... Three, is that three so far? Four, four. And the reason why I only want to do 20 is because then the tidy area, the tidying up phase will be simpler. If you just keep going, 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 you may end up getting really messy and feeling overwhelmed. So for example, let's pretend that's gotten knocked like that and I haven't noticed. Here's another piece, bright piece. This doesn't look like it's part of the window. It does look like it's inside somewhere here, approximately close. It's somewhere about there with the fireplace. I'm happy with that. So that's five. Here's another piece just grabbed out. This looks, oh, okay, I was looking. This is one of the lamps, the lamp shades. I'm going to end up doing all these easier yellow pieces and then be, have all the darker pieces left. But if you do the easier parts first, the brighter pieces, hopefully then it will be, wouldn't be too hard to do the darker pieces. Now, this is part of this lamp. Is it that corner? It's this corner over here. It's the left-hand side of the lamp. It goes approximately above this book. Somewhere, let's say it goes about, I don't know, about, I'm going to knock that, I'm going to knock that one purposely. It goes, it's a bit higher than this piece over here. Maybe about there, approximately. How many I've done now? I've lost count. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six. Let's, we're on piece number seven. Let's grab this piece. This is piece number seven bright again oh look this piece right here it's part of the table it's the bottom of the banker's lamp so it's it's about maybe it goes somewhere about there okay that's seven let's look at piece number eight piece number eight i pulled out it's a border piece it's the top of the window well i wonder if it actually goes ah look at that it goes on the window up top there. So I can move that closer into place. I can move that closer into place now because I know it all connects to that border piece. Okay, sounds good. That's eight. This is piece number nine. Piece number nine. What is this? I have studied this image quite a bit, but is that part of the cushion? Oh, it is. It's part of the cushion. It's darker. Does that actually go... Look at that, it goes right there. So the more you look at the image, the more you get to know it. And look, I did have those two other pieces in the right place. So that's now all nicely connected. So that's piece number nine. Let's grab this as our piece number 10. Oh, wow, okay. 
bit tricky brown reddish and some bright yellow I think this is the carpeting the two carpets that are separated by the wood and the yellow is part of this desk down here so would it go somewhere about there I'm realizing that this may have to be spread out eventually but I think it goes about there I think we're at piece number 10 let's see what else do I want to grab let me grab this piece piece 11 border piece nice and bright over here this nice little um, lampshade right there I know I have that piece there with the books so it goes a little lower a little lower I'll put it approximately there so that's 11 let's grab another bright piece where does this go what is this I'm yeah okay interesting ah see I'm focusing on all these bright yellow pieces and look this is the bottom of the fireplace and that decoration and the gate in front of the fireplace so it, oh I may have to might move that up a bit I think that kind of all goes approximately there somewhere I think that was 11 I probably lost count but we'll get there 11 how about this piece 12 piece 12 oh look that's part of my painting up there part of my painting look in the direction I think it goes like that could it actually connect it does it connects already there okay 12 let's just grab this one at random now look at that that's books that's a lot of books the one thing that stands out that's a bright blue book and I think that's part yeah look I was able to see that's part of the ladder so take your time imagine I didn't notice right away that the ladder was there it's a bright blue book go through your image where all the books are is there a bright blue book bright blue book and then you come down oh look right there a bright blue book okay take your time no rush it's so funny because I either speed puzzle or I slow leisurely puzzle now to tell you the truth does it go that way does it go that way this is where I gotta pay attention it goes I think about that way yeah this will be interesting maybe about there eventually things will have to be shifted let's say that was 13 <laughs> I've totally lost count let me count quickly I'll count my pieces quickly how many I've placed one two, 14 because I had one extra piece that I put in my unknown pot was that 14 we'll say it's 14 Oh, let's grab just this piece out of the box. I just grabbed it out. That's part of the banker's lamp. I call it a banker's lamp. I don't know if it is. A lawyer's lamp, banker's lamp with the green, the green, um, well, I see now I feel like I got to shift stuff because there's the base of that lamp. That's the top. This might be a little bit higher. I might shift that all up a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, because that's part of that armchair that part of that green armchair it's close let's say that was 15 say this is 16 where does this this is again part the base of that um, picture frame right there and there's the leaves I think it's the bottom I don't think it connects yet but I think it goes about there let's say that was 15 do approximately 20 pieces 15 let's say this is piece 16 16 okay bright white that's the that's again the two carpets and the wood paneling that's our magnifying glass now I already have a piece here with the carpet and the wood paneling does it connect it does okay so I tried that out there and maybe these eventually will move closer but it's it's approximately in the right place just gonna grab this piece right on top this can be piece um, 17 now this again is part of the painting the picture up here framed so I'm gonna try it does it connect with something I already have no no actually I think it goes in between if I look at the image a bit closer I think it goes in between that right there okay 17 let's do this one now 18 again I'm trying to grab out bright pieces white that looks again like it's from this desk perhaps yeah and the, the part of the pink armchair right there maybe it goes somewhere along there about we'll put it there for now and let's do two more pieces let me grab something at random here 
let's grab this piece, bright white. This is the top of the fireplace. I don't think it doesn't connect there, but it's it's close. It's somewhere, somewhere about there. And we'll do one more piece. Grab this border piece right here, bright white. It's this book down there. Does it actually connect with that book? It does. So I probably lost count. I'm sure you all counted, but it's approximately 20 pieces. So now I place pieces. I figured out where they all went, so I don't have any that added to my unknown pile. Although I did put this one off to the side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy. I'm going to go, what, ha what happened to this flower piece? I've knocked it around. You know, I know it should go approximately better, like somewhere there. So be careful. So tidy up your area. Is anything a little crooked? Does anything need to be tidied up or shifted? Next, can anything connect? Well, looking up at this window area here, it's worth trying. Does that connect there? And it does. Look at that. So I've already connected those pieces. So try to connect. And, you know, I should have been more careful when I was putting the pieces there to try to connect them. As well as down here, this um, desk with the book. Now that I look at it, there's a yellow line. Does that connect? It does. It does connect. And in fact, I'm willing to bet this probably comes down a little bit. Maybe that all comes down a little bit lower. I just shifted it down a little bit, but it doesn't, it doesn't connect just yet. It doesn't connect, but we're getting close because I can see that yellow line going from those pieces like that. So it's close. It may actually go just like that. This whole thing may actually shift down a lot further than I think. So it's, it's close. So I've managed to connect some pieces. My unknown pile. Well, I've looked at this picture a bit. And when I was finding this piece with this lamp here, I saw this armchair up there, and look, it's the top of that armchair with the books on the sofa. That goes approximately there. Those are the same books. So I think that goes about, about there somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to put that one about there level with that piece. It's close. So I went through my unknown pile, and I think I found where that goes. Now, any of my sorted piles, I still don't know about these green railings. They're, they're going to stay there. This piece up here, again, goes somewhere there. And I know this piece is approximately here, but I'll just leave it there for now. So I haven't moved anything from my sorted piles in. But it's coming along. It's coming along nicely. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three more cycles. We've done two cycles, approximately 40 pieces. I'm going to do three more cycles. I'm going to speed up that footage and then I'll come back and we'll have a chat. We'll have approximately 100 pieces done at that point. And it's key the more pieces you put, the more tidy you are. Because as you can see very quickly, this can start to get messy. And if you have these window pieces up there, it's not going to help you. If you have these pieces all kind of piled up like that, it's not going to help you. So you got to be a little bit more careful with your piece placement and where things go and that's why I say do it in cycles of 20 pieces approximately 20 pieces and do your tidy up especially when it comes to connecting because you may have things very spread out but once you connect them it brings it all together and it makes it easier so let me do three more cycles I'll speed up the footage and then we'll come back and have a chat and see how well you all are doing
So this is approximately 100 pieces. I had tried to use a 20-sided die, a D20, to keep track of the number of pieces I was putting in, but it took me longer to figure out where the numbers were on the die, so I gave up and I just counted in my head. I think I might be off by a piece or two, but it's close. But 100 pieces, I mean, yes, I realize it looks pretty messy. I realize that. But believe it or not, it's actually quite tidy. So ask yourself right now, is your puzzling area tidy? Are things approximately in the correct position? You know, or do you have things that like are way off? Tidy your puzzling area. Definitely now before it gets further messy because the more pieces you put in, the messier it will get unless you stay tidy. Next, are there areas or things that can connect? I keep trying to, to connect these guys, but they don't connect yet. You know, and notice how I keep shifting things because as I put more pieces in, I have to shift things to kind of make room to see where they all fit and where they all go. I think I had started with this further over and I shifted it down and, and I know I've been shifting things over here and, and the plant here in this, this window, but eventually it'll all start connecting together. Now I found this piece connected and these books down here. So I believe that this decorative ceiling area is that one. So this one right here, I believe is this one, which would go maybe approximately there. And, and this one I think goes about there because I think that's part I can see right now. That's part of that frame that goes right there. So I'm gonna put that about somewhere about there. You know, we're getting there. So I've moved those in. I don't have an unknown pile, but I did start another pile above the mantle or below the mantle, above the fireplace. There's repeat pattern here. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm just going to put that to the side for now. I haven't moved these in. I know, I know I'm close. I know it goes approximately somewhere there, but I'm going to leave them off to the side for now. But how are you feeling? Are you seeing this coming together? Is it just too messy for you? If it is, I'll give you an option. Do you want to go through and pull out all the border pieces and build the border? Would that help? Give it a go. Give it a try. See if that would help. If not, if you're really not having fun, do what you would normally do. But thank you for at least trying to get this far. But this is the build as you sort. You just grab a piece and you try to figure out where it goes. And eventually, the more pieces you grab, the more things will go in. Still don't know where that all goes. But part of the process is trying to be tidy with your puzzling area. If you start having pieces piled up inside, it just becomes chaotic. If you have pieces all turned wonky donkey ways, it becomes chaotic. You know, like if you have that kind of like that, you know, and that over there, it's not going to work. So you have to be very careful with your puzzling area. And it's also very much spatial awareness. Like as I put a new piece in, this is the corner of this second desk here. I'm like, oh, well maybe, maybe that needs to be moved a bit further. I feel it's really good, um, you know, brain training almost to try to do this, but I realize it can be very tricky. So let me know at this point, a hundred pieces in, I wanna know in the comments below, did you keep going? Did you stop and do your own thing? Is it too chaotic for you? Are you enjoying it? Leave your feedback. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna keep doing the process piece by piece, try to go through, try to keep it tidy, go through my unknown pile. I don't have any unknowns now. I've managed to place them all. Um, see if eventually I can start doing my sorted piles. I still have the green railing, the dark brown, and now that top above uh, the fireplace, but no rush. I can leave them to the end. I've been able to place all the book pieces. I'm very pleased about that. I thought the books would be trickier. I thought the books would be trickier, but so far so good. I have a feeling these books up here will be trickier, but I'm just going to go ahead and complete this jigsaw puzzle following those steps and I'll come back and we'll have a chat. But yeah, no matter how you did, I just appreciate you trying it out with me. And I love that we're all puzzling the same jigsaw puzzle together. It's lots of fun. And I, I love seeing this come all together. I know it seems crazy. And it's like, how do you know that piece goes there? Well, it goes approximately there. And then eventually when it all connects together, oh, I just feel, 
I don't know, a sense of accomplishment or reward. And I keep trying and I go, nope, that doesn't go there yet. We're close. We're close. But yeah, give it a go. Let me know. Leave your comments below. So let's just go ahead and finish off the dream library. So how did you all do? Now I'm left with the last few pieces from my box. I have an unknown piece, which now I think I see where it goes, and then steal the railings. But basically, there you go. We have done a build as you sort. So I'll just put in the last of my few pieces here that were in my box. And then I'll grab my unknown piece because it's much easier to see where it goes now. And then I just have the last of these pieces which were in the railing. And I'll pop those into place. Next. I hope you enjoyed the jigsaw puzzle. What a fun image. This was so nice. A bit darker than I expected, but I really enjoyed it. Lots of fun. Lots to discover. Even after like looking at the image tons there were still things that I hadn't realized were in the image like all the details up here in the books and the designs and actually to tell you the truth the books were easier than I expected these books weren't too bad you know um what did I find a bit tricky first like the mantle a bit was a bit more tricky um 
I'm not the best with flowers, but I did okay. It wasn't too many pieces. This darker area was a bit trickier, but not too bad. For some reason, like the blue couch and the green, and I had the odd piece, you know, here or there that I had over here in my unknown pile, but then you saw every so often I'd go through my unknown pile and I was able to like place it. But I love this jigsaw puzzle. I did pretty good at outlining it. You see, it's it's nearly covering the entire purple outline. So I think it was smart to use the outline. I just want to thank you again for trying this out with me. So leave your comments be below. Let me know how did you do? Were you able to complete it as a build as you saw it? And if so, did you enjoy it? Yes or no? Perhaps maybe you did it, but maybe you didn't enjoy it. Um, did you just do it your own way from the start? Let me know that. Um, I think with a busy image, let me know, like, how would you sort this? I could see grabbing out, you know, the brighter colors, perhaps, and, and some things to sort, but it, it would be tricky to sort because there's so much going on. Yeah, I just want your thoughts. And I'm just thankful that you joined me on this little build as you sort adventure. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I'm going to pass this along to Allison to do as well. Basically, the reason why I told you to do 20 pieces at a time and then to go through and do your tidy to see if anything connects, go through your unknown pile and go through your like side piles and your sorted piles is so that you wouldn't end up putting so many pieces in that perhaps it got too messy. The reason why I asked you to do 20 pieces at a time is to just do it in small chunks to kind of keep it tidy and not too overwhelming. Um, as you do it more often, you'll see that you won't have to just do 20 pieces and tidy up, 20 pieces and tidy up. Because I don't know if you notice, it's hard on the time lapse, but I would put a piece in and then I go, oh wait, it all connects. So I didn't wait till I was done the 20 pieces. If I noticed things connected, I connected them right away. And yeah, I had trouble, like this area was kind of a bit, I say messy a bit, but eventually it all connected it together. But I definitely had these pieces kind of all shifted around. But as you do more build as you sort, as you're building and you see things, you'll see things connect, connect right away. You don't have to wait until you've put 20 pieces down to connect. That was more to kind of give you a step-by-step -step flow and to draw your attention that you might have pieces you've put down that can connect. Because imagine you're building the jigsaw puzzle, but you're just putting piece, 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 and then you'll end up with chunks all over the place. And so this kept it contained, hopefully, and like a little regimented, little step-by-step -step guide. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed building it. Um, oh, I'm, I'm always nervous. Like, I'm afraid someone's gonna leave feedback and go, this was horrible and I hated it. And if that's the case, that's okay. But, um, you know, hopefully a few of you tried it. And if one person, if one person enjoyed it, then, then that'll be worth it. So what did you think of the jigsaw puzzle? I really enjoyed it. There were some areas that were a lot darker than I expected. I do enjoy the larger pieces though. I don't know if it's a matter of eyesight and dexterity. It's just nice to be able to pick up a good size piece, look at it, see all the detail. I actually really, really enjoyed that and I really did enjoy the jigsaw puzzle. How did you all do with the build as you sort? Did you try it, yes or no? Um, what were your thoughts? Did you get through the puzzle doing a full build as you sort? It, or did you go back to puzzling the way you normally do? Or did you just puzzle from the start your own way? I want to read all your comments, so leave them below. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao!